All right. So this one is from the song Stifled, and this is the amazing run that Frederick Thordendahl ends his solo with. And it's really cool because it gives you some insight into the types of fingerings that he's thinking of when he's playing half hold diminished. So the tonality of this is basically B flat half hold diminished. <laughs> Right. And what's going on in the rhythm guitar is basically like a B-flat power chord. Right, and they go to the flatted third, uh, D-flat. So that's basically what's going on there. So half hold diminished works great over that. And he's starting on the uh, eighth fret of the fourth string, which is our B-flat note. And now here's this really cool shape. This kind of has like that Alan Holdsworthy kind of sound. So you do B flat, and then your ring finger hammers on to the 11th fret on the same string, and then you hammer on to the 12th fret with your pinky. So against B flat half hold diminished, it's the root, sharp 9, major 3rd. So now, because half hold diminished is symmetrical, we can take this same shape and move it up two strings, and it works. So that's what he does. He does this shape, and then he just moves it up to the second string. So you just skip over a string and do the exact same pattern. So then it's G, B flat, B. Okay, a little challenging, right? Getting that, that hammer on between the ring finger and pinky is a little uncomfortable. And then from here, what he does is he kind of weaves in a different fingering from there. So after you land on your pinky on the B, you go to the E note on the next string. So you're hitting your pinky twice in a row. And then you slide that pinky note up from E to F. And then pull off to the E note with your ring finger, which is on the 12th fret. And then pull off to C sharp with your pointer finger. Okay. And then if you look at that, it's the same fingering that we started with, right? But it's just backwards, and it's up a fret from the position we started with. Okay, and then from there, once again, takes the same pattern, just moves it down two strings. So, then it's A flat, G, E, uh, e natural. Really cool sound. So, so far we have... Okay, then from there, the pointer finger goes to B on the 4th string, which is our ninth fret. And then he slides down a fret, slide your pointer finger down from B to B flat, and do the same pattern again, so... So the exact same thing, the only thing that changes now is when we get down to this B note, rather than sliding down a fret, he actually slides up two frets. And then he can do the same pattern again, because as you might know, the diminished stuff works three frets at a time. You can move up three frets and play the same thing, and it works. It lines up in the scale, because like I said, it's symmetric. So this time, when he slides from the B to the C sharp, now he can do... Does the same thing. So... Doesn't do the exact full pattern there actually. So when we get to there, when we slide up to our C sharp, we do C sharp, ring finger hammers on the E, pinky hammers on the F. Then the same pattern, two strings higher once again, B flat, C sharp, D. And then the pinky gets the G note again, and you slide up a fret. And then pull off to ring finger on G, pointer finger on E. And then he ends it like this, same pattern, two, str uh, two strings down on the third string. So pinky on the 16th fret, pull off to the ring finger on the 15th, and pointer finger on 12. Okay, so the whole thing really slow. 